As many as 59 million Americans have thyroid problems and many more remain undiagnosed. So if you're feeling a little out of sorts, you may be suffering from hypothyroidism. And here with a lesson in Thyroid 101 are doctors Michael Gadway and Josh Red. Good morning, doctors. Good morning. How are you? Great to have you with us. This is a topic that I'm personally very curious about as well. And you know, I read that the list of symptoms of low thyroid, uh, you know, there's so many of them. I was actually amazed by the severity of some of them. Can you explain yeah. what some of those symptoms there's are? There's a lot of symptoms. Uh, fatigue, inability to lose weight, mm -hmm. uh, depression, anxiety, a lot of intestinal problems can occur. Uh, anxiety, restlessness, headaches, things like that. There's a lot of different symptoms. There really are. Yeah. And Dr. Red, you actually founded Rio, uh, excuse me, Red River Health and Wellness Center, and you specialize obviously in medicine that treats the imbalances and also the dysfunction. So, what causes the low thyroid? Uh, the number one cause is a disease called Hashimoto's disease, and this is uh, an autoimmune disease that will actually attack the thyroid. And this is probably one of the biggest medical flaws because most of these patients don't have a clue what's causing the low thyroid to begin with mm -hmm. and the mechanism of the thing that's actually causing it goes totally overlooked and so right. it's a it's a big issue here so these people will typically get on a thyroid hormone replacement and that's it okay but yet nothing's being done to the actually Hashimoto's mm -hmm. and so that's where we come in where we typically will go in and pinpoint and figure out what's causing the Hashimoto's to flare up okay and then do all the extensive tests and pinpoint how we can go in and decrease those imbalances and get them function a lot better okay and then these patients are finally have a lot better quality of life and, and feel a lot better. So it's something that, you know, it's something beyond just the thyroid itself. Far, far beyond. Okay. The, the majority of the time, it's not even a thyroid problem. It's an endocrine imbalance or autoimmune disease elsewhere that's causing the actual issue. Wow. Okay. And so if we're treating symptoms, uh, most of these times these patient, uh, patients continue to feel little or no improvement. Interesting. Yeah. Well, and Dr. Gadway, you manage the Albuquerque mm -hmm. uh, office of Red River Health. And I, I want to talk a little bit about the fact that if somebody has symptoms and they're dealing with the possibility of having a low thyroid, what would be the next step? What would we do next? Well, I think the most important thing is to know that you don't have to suffer. Okay. And the first thing you do is you take action. Mm -hmm. Call us and together we can work to make the, the thyroid as optimal function as we can. Okay. And that's really the thing you do is to pick up the phone and take action because if you don't feel well, you don't have to stay that way. Okay. You can so go on and comforting. get better. Yeah. And I guess like anything, it's just the, the soonest you find out, the earliest you detect it, the better you the, can treat the it. The better, without any question, because it can okay. lead to a lot of other diseases. It can, uh, once you have an autoimmune disease, it can turn into other autoimmune diseases right. as well. Uh, plus, it can end up turning into type 2 diabetes and, and obviously wow. a very poor quality of life as well, well. So how would you treat a low thyroid? What would be the treatment? You take everything you know about thyroid problems and you okay. crumble it up in your hand and you throw it in the trash. <laughs> really? Because the majority of the time they don't have a thyroid problem. Now, mm -hmm. typically these patients will need to be on a thyroid hormone uh, replacement. Okay. And we'll work with their prescribing physician with that. Okay. Um, but it's also important to go in and actually figure out what's the cause of their disease. So, where's the root of the problem? Absolutely. I mean, most of our patients. They'll have about zero to five good days. Okay. Just, I mean, <laughs> where they can function and feel good. The rest of the time, they just are not functioning. Mm -hmm. They um, just feel tired. Just, and yeah, weak. sluggish. Interesting. And, you know, I, I want to know who is most likely to have a low thyroid because I think a lot of us think, well, it's not going to be me. So, who would be in that pool of people? Yeah, females are, are definitely the most, uh, you know, likely to have thyroid problems. Okay. Uh, but we'll see patients from eight years old to 87 year old. Really? So, um, as young as eight. Yeah, without any, without any questions. And so it's a growing population. It really is. It's well, just getting worse said, and worse. Millions and millions of people. So the question really would be, can a low thyroid be avoided altogether? Is that even a possibility or is it just one of those things that just happens? Not, not really. The most common cause of the low thyroid, which is the Hashimoto's, uh -huh. uh, actually turns on after like a birth of a child. Really? Once that occurs, it turns that gene on and then from that point on they have it. But Stressful situations that occur in our life can turn that mm -hmm. gene on. Going through puberty or menopause can turn that gene on. Mm -hmm. and, and so, unfortunately, it's a, it's a hard thing to try to overcome. Yeah. And it's, it's growing tenfold over the last 50 years. So. Yeah, there's not a lot you can do and say, well, I'll, I'll do all these steps to avoid it. It's just something that does show up for a lot of people. Yeah. And so what are some of the typical results that you're seeing right now in the office? Just to give you an idea, like, for example, we had a patient who came to our office about six months ago. Uh -huh. Her son was asked to draw a picture of the family at school. He uh -huh. drew a picture of the family uh -huh. and then drew a picture of his mom on the side in bed. 
because oh. that's how we knew her, you know, knew his mom. So, wow. Um, oh. But now, you know, she had been suffering for 20 plus years. <gasps> Oh my gosh. With that, um, with a lot of a lot of different symptoms, now she finally, you know, after seeing us, she's able to lose weight. Finally, she has energy. She can function. She can be a mom again, a wife again. So there is um, hope. With, <laughs> without hope. any question, I mean, if you have zero to five good days, uh -huh. typically with our help, we can get you to like 20 to 25 good days, and then teach you and educate you and show you what to do and what not to do, so okay. that afterwards these patients are empowered and have control of their disease and, and feel a lot better. That's mm -hmm. so important. So yeah. tell us about some of the services that you offer at Red River Health and Wellness because I know there's a lot that you do for people. So tell yeah. us some of those services. The, the, the biggest thing that we deal with is thyroid problems, but we also deal with a lot of other autoimmune conditions and also okay. type 2 diabetes, which is a big one here. I know Huge. that. So, mm -hmm. It absolutely uh, is. But the important thing is instead of just getting to, you know, instead of treating symptoms, mm -hmm. our whole goal is to figure out what's causing the symptoms and get to the yeah. root cause, and, and that's how we get the best possible outcome. Come and in. treat that. That's so important. And so many viewers out there are probably thinking, I need to contact these guys immediately. Mm -hmm. How can they do that? So they can go into our website at uh, lowthyroid101.com okay. or Perfect. they can call us as well. Uh, for a free consultation and all that stuff. We also have like brochures and testimonial videos and, and a lot of that stuff as well. So they can go on there and check it out. So important. And I feel so. comforted to know that there are solutions and I think a lot of people out there will feel the same. Thank yeah. you, doctor, so Thanks much for, for being us. here. Yeah, we really appreciate you. your time appreciate and your information. Yeah. And Kim Ju's pictures are worth a thousand words. He's next on New Mexico Style. Don't go away.